Hi guys, T Belly here. I'm just going to do a short cosplay tutorial on the sewing and refill method. And it's just an update from the previous one because uh, I think some people were getting confused thinking I was doing it a more difficult way. It was just another way of doing it. So I'm just going to do it this way, which is the, the standard way, I suppose. Uh, so, what you would do is you would go on to seeding and you would go up here, select the field, and you can see here, look, so I'm just going to 23. Uh, get your working width as you know it's six six meters what I do is I'll just knock it down normally just uh, just to make sure it overlaps slightly especially if you're doing a headland it's here there if you want to do it six meters do it six meters uh, you start in corner so if you have a look on your map we're here so it's going to be southwest oh. southwest and the direction we're going is north and if we're having a headland, we'll go. We'd go. If you want to go around that way, the field, that's the way it's going to go. If you want to switch that to go that way around the field, it's entirely up to you. If you want to have one headland, I mean, if you want to have one headland, which is there, if you want to have two headlands, three, four, five. Uh, what this does is it'll do the headland before it does the up and down part of the the field, uh, or if you do it that way, it'll do the up and down part and then do the headland after. Uh, just a quick overview for you so you can see what that is. So, if I was going to do that one, it'd just do like headland and they just do like rings. And what I'll do is I'll just show you what it looked like. There you go. See if I can just uh, zoom out a little bit for you so you can see it. There you go, that'd be your start point, and it'd just go around in circle. Yeah, just go around in circles like that. You can't see it because it's out of that, but it's just like. There you go, and it just like wider black clock, and then just as it gets into the middle there, then it go up and down. That's because it's on the five headlands. Uh, we're not going to do that one. So, uh, if you wanted to just do a standard one, you would do it the same way. The right field, and knock it down to one headland. Do it that way, which would be the standard way of doing it. Uh, I mean, I could do that one. That's not a problem. Or you can do. It, without a headland at all, and create the course, and that's basically just up and down, up and down, up and down. So what I'll do is I'll just do it that way for now. It just it's just going to save time. It doesn't really make any difference which one I do. Uh, so, so I'm just going to just save that as so 23. So we'll save that. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm uh, just going to press X, just to lift my gear up. I'm going to clear the course. So it doesn't, it's not a major thing. Uh, what, well, what I'll show you is if we load the course in, there, yeah, like so, we can see the course. You see the finish point is up in this top corner. It should be. Which is there. So what I'll do is from here. What I'm going to do is, oh, <laughs> I'm going to go create a course. Should be in it. Start to finish. Just there. There, so we can get the refill on. So that's what it's going to be. So, what I'll do is clear that course. Let's right, say so we know we're going to finish it. Basically, what this is to do is if it runs out of seed, it's going to come up here, refill, and go back to the start, the place where it left off, and continue. So we'll go start recording. There you go, as long as you get the refill sign, you should be fine. And stop. 
Now what we'll do then is we save that one as refill 23, shoot, play that course. What we'll do is we'll load in. Oh, not that one, sorry. Sewing, the first one, and then we'll append refill on the end of it. So it just adds it onto the back. So, in theory, it should. Famous last words. If we go drive cars. Oh. I love it when it does that. Look when it does that. Do it at the beginning then. If you're gonna be finicky. There we go. Drive course. Just has a basic <laughs> mission sometime because if it doesn't sit directly over the top of it, it tries to find it and end up going around in circles just because it can't get that on its pivot point, so not to worry, we'll just uh Hold it along. So what I'll do is I'll uh, come back when it gets uh, a little bit lower. As you can see, it's running perfectly fine. When it gets down to uh, to refill, I'll uh, just come back and I'll show you it there. Back in a minute, guys. Hi, guys. Welcome back. As you can see, we're close to uh, it needing refilling soon. As you can see down here. So, fingers crossed, it should uh, set off. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, it should head back up, refill, come back to where it's set off, and uh, carry on. So it goes to the end point first, you see, and then I'll follow the path on from there. That's why I put the start point there, so it just stops it from glitching now and again. Sometimes its path detection can be a bit tricky, so. There you go, refill, so I'll press it. Just leave it to it. I was going to press R so it to stop it, but no reason. Just let it fill up and carry on. That's how you do it guys, and uh, well, I'll just wait and see if it goes back to the place, so uh, fingers crossed, it should all work fine. Yeah, looking good. Setting back off. Like I said, the other method that I use, I'll keep that up anyway uh, because that's handy for fields that are, are not square or rectangular, that are for ir irregular fields, you know. I did it where I drove round and drove back round the headland. Uh, but this is this is the method most people are going to use anyway, I suppose. So. There we go, guys. Happy days. Well guys, I hope that's been of some help to you and I hope it's cleared up some of the confusion and I'll uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you later guys.